Hi everybody, um, this is Jen. This is not my normal type of video, but I wish that there was a video like this when I was gonna bring my girls into Big Girl Church. So I am going to make it to hopefully help somebody else. So both my girls came into church when they were 18 months for different reasons. So Opal came into church at 18 months because COVID hit at 18 months. So there was no nursery, so she was in church with us. And then Violet has a thing against nursery. She loathes it. So um, if I'd put her in there, she would kick and scream until I took her back out. So she's in church with us too. Um, so next month they're going to be four and two. And so um, we are basing this off of toddler age. So that's why I have all these things for toddlers. So um, this is our church bag. I like it because it is canvas. I also personalize the back. It says my last name and that it's the church bag so that if it gets lost, um, someone knows where to return it to because I've got all sorts of stuff that I don't want to lose in here. Um, and then also it's nice and quiet so the girls can get in and out of it easily um, and help themselves to all the things in there except for one thing. So I'm going to show you that first. That is this bag here. Um, this bag is a bag that I take out during the sermon at the at the start of the sermon. Um, so they get their candy when the sermon starts. I try not to give them many toys before the sermon because the sermon's often the longest part and we want them to be occupied during that. And also during the songs, they can kind of get up, move around a little bit and they don't really need the toys so much. So in this bag, um, I have, first of all, candy. So um, Opal likes the peppermints, so she gets a peppermint at the start. And then Violet likes Smarties, which I put in a separate bag. So I do this because that is loud. And I find that when I'm in church, getting the Smarties out of this stinking thing is always so loud and it takes me forever to get it out. So I just avoid that problem and I put them in a bag before the service so that we can have that. Also, during the evening service, I let them have a snack. So like Teddy Grahams or like Goldfish, things like that. So um, that's for the evening service because it, it lands like right at dinner time. So they start to get a little bit crabby. So that is the first thing and then once they're once i have given them what i want to give them from this i hide this because this is the bag with the candy and the dollar bills for the end um and i don't really want them to play with that throughout the service so i kind of hide this next to me somewhere um but in this bag also like i said we have the dollars so that when collection time comes they can feel like they're a part of it and like they're giving as well um and it just keeps them interactive in the service so that's that bag. Um, the next thing I'm going to go into is maybe the soft books. So I have three different soft books. I do kind of rotate these a little bit because they're bulky and they don't fit that well in the bag. The first one is this one. It zips open. It's not actually too loud, which you might think it would be with the zipper, but it's not too bad. It's my storybook. It's a quiet book. So in here we've got Velcro little felt pieces. So, um, they can match up the shapes and they also like to hide them throughout the book and then find them again. It's kind of a cute little thing. Um, it's got the clock and the little buckle. It's got um, a button and some shoes to tie and another zipper and another Velcro thing and then different textures here to feel. So they do enjoy this book, especially the little one. So the, the two-year-old. Um, then we have this one. This is a Melissa and Doug. Love me some Melissa and Doug. So um, I'll try to link what I can in the description box. But um, this one is the What Should I Wear book. I did make, well, my mom made some changes to this. Uh, we put her where we attached her with a ribbon to the book so that she didn't fall on the ground because that is then a big problem of well, who's going to go get the book and off the ground. But anyway, this goes in here, so she's got her slippers on, and then she can go in her little hula skirt and ballet skirt and swimming ring and a coat. It's a very cute book. Um, her little skirt and her jammies. 
So that's this book here. And then this is the book that I rotate out with this book, which is a peekaboo book. This used to have a squeaker in there, but that would not be really church appropriate. So my mom again helped me to modify this to our liking. So um, this is a peekaboo book. So inside we've got these pages where you, all the animals are peekabooing and they have some crinkly to them, but really they're not so loud in church that you can't handle it. We've got the clouds with the little guys hiding behind it. So, and then doors. So these are cute and it doesn't take up a lot of time, but it does take up enough time. And if you kind of interact with them with these, it can be really fun. And then next, let's go to some books, other books, regular books. So I like the slide and find books. Kind of any slide and find book would probably do. This one's a nursery rhyme one. It's got Hickory Dickory Dock. It's got the Itsy Bitsy Spider with the sun that Violet loves to kiss this little guy when he comes up. Um, so this one's cute. Also, I have I Thought I Saw a Monkey and the monkey peeks out. I know this book series is a series, so it's got all sorts of different animals that you can find in different books. So yeah, this one's a cute one um, and takes up a good amount of time as well. This next book is probably my favorite book. It gets a whole lot of use. So it's called The All Better Book by Usborne Books. Um, Usborne is a great um, resource for little kiddos. It has band-aids in it and they're reusable. We've been using this book for probably over two years now and they still work. You can just rinse them off and they're still nice and sticky. So these are the band-aids and then you have to find the corresponding animal in the book and put a band-aid on wherever their boo-boo is. Um, so my girls love to put the boo-boos on or the, the band-aids on. They like to take the band-aids off and find the corresponding color. So it's kind of like a matching thing too. So this one gets a lot of use from both girls and it takes up a good amount of time as well. So I really like that one. And they can do that one pretty independently, which I really appreciate as well. Next is another Usborne book. It is a sticker book. So they find the stickers in the back, which mine is almost, or ours is almost uh, depleted. This one's had a lot of use, but they find the um, corresponding environment for the animals and they put them on there we try to match them um supposedly i think these are reusable stickers but i have not found that really because my girls like to rip them but it wasn't that expensive i don't think and so i would buy another one Next is what Opal, my four-year-old, is a big fan of. Um, she almost exclusively plays with these. I switch them out, so we only have one of these in church at a time. Um, so this one's the jungle one, and it's like a sticker book, but these are definitely reusable. Um, this is another Melissa and Doug type, but they're kind of like squishy stickers, like puffy stickers, and you can put them anywhere on the pages. So that's the jungle. We've got a farm. Pretty cute with their little carry cases. And this one's a little house with a chipmunk family. Very cute. So this keeps her busy for a long time and I bought it in a three pack and I'm so glad I did because then we can switch them out as needed. And then let's see, next on to a totally different thing. So this is just a bendy, thing rubbery thing i don't know where you really could find this we got one from ozinga kids club um but they're just kind of fun you can re like put them in different shapes like hearts or yeah it's just fun or you can poke your sister with it whatever so that's that um then we've got two babies these babies are from the dollar store they can interact with each other which they do they have movable arms and legs. Their clothes come on and off. So um, they, they don't get a ton of use, but it's nice to have them at the bottom. In case they get crabby, you can start to interact with them. Um, so that's that. Next is this little LED reusable thing. So you draw on this, and then there's an erase button right here. 
so it erases it. Um, we used to have one from the dollar store, which was a little bit different, but it was so loud. It was like, <laughs> so we got rid of that one and we just have this one now, but that's as loud as you can make this thing, which is pretty quiet, I gotta say. And then they love to scribble and erase. I'm sure as they get older, they'll be able to draw some fun stuff or their letters and numbers and things like that. But yeah, this was a good purchase. I was really happy with this one. I found this one on Amazon. So I'll be able to link that in the description. Next we have, or I guess this is last. Wow. Um, this is just a little pouch that I got. Um, I find that littles like to take things out put things back in when they're like little things. They like to sort them. They like to interact with them, all sorts of things. So this unzips and inside I put so much random stuff, man. So these are just like little baby toys. Um, we've got Minnie and Mickey also from the dollar store in here and they interact with each other as well as like going through the hoops and stuff. Um, we've got a dinosaur, which came in a really big pack of dinosaurs, so that's that. Um, he likes to dance as well. And then we've got an eye guy, so those are really fun. Those, This one's from my childhood, I think, but they're just fun to interact with, tickle, that kind of thing. Um, and then, like I said, they like to take it out, put it back in, zip it up, unzip it, take out, put back in. That one actually takes up a lot of time. It almost surprised me by how much time it did take up, which is good. Um, so I hope this video can help somebody to get through that wiggly time in church. Um, and so, yeah.